sounds of children fill the air as their parents shop around the store for the perfect outfit. Three locations and generations later, Champagne Surplus still stands and is frequented by locals for higher end camping gears. Third generation owner Shira Epstein says she remembers playing around the store as a child. Oh, okay, perfect. You're in the right spot. Being underneath my grandfather's desk and um, obviously through um, working here in high school and all that. And so it's kind of fun to um, just have the whole store be, so, you know, a part of me really. And, to work with the family. Epstein's business partner and husband, Dan Epstein, says the bond the store and its customers share is something special. We definitely want to keep it going, and for us it's important because it's, again, it's we've supported the local community for 70 years and they've supported us, and it's, it's, uh, it's a unique thing these days. You don't see that very often. A sense of community is a value champagne surplus and his staff strives to preserve. They hand out green dog tags like this one to their customers for them to take photos with during their travels. Employee Chelsea Garrett says the dog tag team campaign has been a great way for the business to give back. When they come back in, I'm like, wow, I'm really part of this community and they really, you know, value my loyalty here. Shira Epstein says the store has always been a part of her family and her identity. It's just, um, it's special to have it here and to um, have, be able to have it support doing the amazing things that we're passionate about. The couple says Champagne has been a wonderful place to settle down, take over the family business, and start a new generation. In Champagne, Jian Kim, UI7 Newsbreak. Thank you.